I was pleased to hear that a paper published in 2009 was selected as one of the paper picks celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Repenter Cell. This work was done by my former postdoc, Noriyuki Nishioka, in collaboration with several other laboratories. In this paper, we show that HIPPO signaling controls cell fate in pre implantation mouse embryos. The first cell differentiation event during mouse development takes place before the blastocyst has implanted in the uterine wall. These pre implantation embryos have two distinct cell types by the early blastocyst stage the trophoectoderm or TE, which is required for implantation and will form the placenta later in development, and the inner cell mass or ICM, which will form the embryo proper. These cell fates apparently correlate with the position of cells within the embryo. The outer cells become TE, while the inner cells become ICM. Historically, two mechanistic models have been proposed to explain this cell fate specification. In the inside-outside model proposed by Tarkovsky, cell position determines cell fate, while in the polarity model proposed by Johnson, it is cell polarity that determines cell fate. Our paper showed that involvement of position-dependent hyposignaling and provides an important clue for the molecular basis of these models. This work arose from an analysis of the phenotypes of TD4 mutants. In 2008, we reported that in the absence of TD4, all cells in the blastocyst become ICM, indicating that TD4 is required for the specification of TE fate. Although this finding was important, it also raised another interesting question. TD4 is expressed widely. So how could it be that this factor promotes T development only in the outer cells of the RE embryo? This is a question that we addressed in our 2009 report in developmental cell. We found that the coactivator protein YAP is differentially distributed in an interesting way. Although YAP is also expressed widely, its nuclear accumulation was seen only in the outer cells while it was excluded from the nuclei of cells in the interior. This suggested that active T4 or a T4 YAP complex forms only in the outer cells and provides further support for the active T4 promotes TE development. But this also gives rise to the important question of how the subcellular distribution of the app is regulated. Previously, we and others have found that in cultured cells, a tumor suppressor signaling pathway, known as the HIPPO pathway, regulates YAP and T activity. At high cell densities, cell cell contacts activate this pathway and suppress nuclear YAP. Starting with these previous findings, we went on to determine that similar cell context as the cell position dependent HIPPO signaling regulates YAP in mouse embryos. The results were summarized in a new model we proposed. In the inner cells, cell cell contact activates the HIPPO pathway and suppresses the nuclear accumulation of YAP. Thus, T4 remains inactive and these cells take on an ICM fate. In the outer cells, weak HIPPO signaling arrows the nuclear accumulation of YAP. This arrows the activation of T4 through the formation of the T4 YAP complex, which induces the trophoectoderm specific transcription factor CDX2. Expression of CDX2 then go on to promote trophoectoderm differentiation of the outer cells. Our finding of the involvement of position-dependent HIPPO signaling is clearly consistent with the inside-outside model, but may be compatible with the polarity model as well. We still do not know how the position-dependent HIPPO signal is established. 
it is likely that position dependent differences in cell polarity contributes to position dependent signaling. We are now seeking to build on this work by analyzing the mechanisms by which cell position dependent hypo signal is established. <laughs> 